Hey everybody, we are teaching Vermilion. Let's look at the fan brush. Yes, the fan brush, it's a very commonly used, very versatile brush, great for detailing. So let's go to the rack and grab ours here in Vermilion. So we are going to be using this one up here, the fan brush. This is the brush we're going to be looking at today. So this is the fan brush. And as you can see, it lives up to its namesake and is shaped sort of like a fan. Now, this one has a lot of different variations. If you move your thumb controller left and right, you'll notice we have a smooth and a bristle version of this brush. The pale version is the smooth brush. The dark version is the bristle fan brush. As their names imply, the smooth version gives a little more of a blend, smooths the colors, doesn't show quite as many of the actual bristles. Whereas the bristle fan brush shows a lot more of the brush detail, the actual bristles when you paint. So we'll be using that one a lot for stippling and ridges and all sorts of things like that. Now this one also lets you move the controller up and down. And if you look closely, it makes the actual head of the brush bigger and smaller. Both the smooth and the, the bristle have larger and smaller sizes. Now, they are two separate brushes. So if I make the smooth one big, I could have the, br the bristle one small. Likewise, if I get dark paint on the smooth, I could have light paint on the bristle and they will not affect each other, which can be confusing if you intend to use the same color, but bear in mind they are considered two completely separate brushes as far as working with paint and things. So now that we've heard me talk about them, let's try them on the canvas here. So I'm just going to get some nice dark color to start with. And as you brush it on the canvas, you'll actually see the brush strokes. It's a large enough brush that I could get one color on one side, a different color on the other side, and paint with it that way. And we're still going to see the brush strokes even as we work with the paint. So you can see it's doing like most of our brushes and showing you graphically how much paint you still have left on that side of the brush. The less brush you paint you have, the more we're going to start to see those bristles, the lines showing through. Now this is great for a variety of effects, including ocean waves and uh, wheat fields and all sorts of things. If I take this and I just start doing short strokes with it, the shorter they become, you get these wonderful little groups of lines. We'll switch to the headset mo uh, view in a moment, but you can see how we start getting these, let's see if we can get better contrast, uh, lines brought out by the bristles. So we're going to switch to the headset view and get a close look at some of these uh, brush strokes in action. So here we have our fan brush. It's in both the smooth, and the bristle. The dark flavor is the bristle, the light flavor is the smooth. So I'm gonna to switch to bristle. Let's clear our palette, get some paint here, mix up a nice deep green. There we go. And let's try some on the, on the actual canvas. So you can see just normal brush strokes does leave the bristles and the pattern in the bristles visible. If I switch to the smooth brush, I'm going to have no paint. So let's get a little bit more of that dark and do some more of those using the smooth brush. Now you can see how we still get the bristle patterns, but it's much smoother as far as the lines, the contrast. If we start blending colors, you can see nice and smooth, whereas the bristle remains those brush strokes, a little more thready, especially at the ends. 
And as you can see, our brushes can pick up more than one color at a time, so we can be painting in these wonderful smooth gradients. Smooth bristle. Now the other way of using the fan is to use the very tips. So if I load up with this green and go in with a tip, you can see how it starts making these blotches and clusters. If I want to do things like natural trees and bushes or ocean waves with foam and froth, you can see how that pattern starts to feel a little more natural, a little softer than our usual brush strokes. Now I'm going to go with some brighter greens to get some more little clusters in here. We can use the edge of the brush if we want smaller clusters. We can go in with a full tip of the brush for larger clusters. And you can see how we can start to build up the shape and it feels much more organic rather than paint brushes. This effect is called stippling and a lot of different brushes pull this off very well. Great for much more texture than just simple brush strokes. If I wanted to green to stay much brighter, I can actually go up to a higher level. I don't think you guys can see the levels in this particular view. But if I switch to a higher layer, now when I go in with this brighter green, it's not going to blend with a darker. It's going to stay its own brighter green pattern. And now we'll have some highlight on the sunny side and we'll leave the shadows on the darker side. And now we're getting back to that bottom layer. And now we're getting the effect of brushes, trees, grass, that type of thing. Stippling using the fan brush. So we can use all the sides, the points, the flats. We can use the actual strokes of brushes for blending and painting. The less paint you have in the brush, the more you're going to see those lines of the bristles. There we go. Fan brush really capable of a lot of different styles and effects. Comes in both smooth and bristle that you can make bigger and smaller. Let's go back to the main studio to wrap up. All right, so the fan brush, a very useful and versatile brush. It's not very large, so it doesn't hold a lot of paint. But we sort of like that, so we can get the more bristly, more thready, more visible strokes using our colors. I hope this gives you a lot of ideas to play with. I hope this gives you some inspiration on things to try. If you have questions, let us know in the comments below and we'll see if we can either make an episode about it or at least just get you answers on what the heck is going on. Vermilion, the oil painting app for virtual reality. We do this all the time here at youtube.com slash shameless mayhem. Thanks for joining us, everybody. Have fun painting.